What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Doing a little showcase video of this squad of Plague Marines from the Death Guard Space Marine, Chaos Space Marine Legion. And I'm painting up one guy, you can see him back there on the right, to do in a tutorial. But I wanted to do a test figure first and then I saw the rest of these guys lying around and I decided to do all of them. So uh, let me show you each one of them and I'll kind of talk about how I went through each one. I wanted to do a Death Guard Legion squad that still retained their iconography from their pre-heresy days. And I think that that might have been a funny joke that Papa Nurgle played when he mutated these guys and he took them for service to the Chaos Gods is that he kept their original iconography. Now the unfortunate thing is that it's still really shiny. I'm not sure how to dull the shine down. I tried painting around the iconography like the green areas in the same color scheme as the rest of the shoulder pad and it's still kind of shiny though so I'm uh, thinking that the next step would be to take a matte varnish and paint that on to dull the shine down but yeah I love I love these guys I love all the ones from these are again the Forge World conversion kits so a lot of them have these awesome heads and torsos I also wanted to make an attempt to use the new technical paints. So believe it or not, I used all of the new technical paints in these uh, models from the Rizza Rust to any Rust on the Silver, Blood for the Blood God for the Blood, Nurgle's Rot for any of the green slimy stuff, um, Typhus Corrosion for the uh, Bolter to show Rust and Corrosion, uh, ox oxid Oxide, Nikila Oxide, what is this called? A Nilac Oxide. Oops, sorry, I'm reading that. And the Earth one. Whatever that was called. A Gelin Earth. So, so for the Earth, I was thinking that what I would do was to paint up some areas of the armor and let it kind of, kind of scrape and flake. And so, let me see if I can find a good example of that. Here on this guy, I kind of tried to paint it on the front. What happens though is it'll f it'll crack, but because it's in that brown, uh, it doesn't really read very much. So you have to paint it over again in the green. And um, when that happens, it kind of covers up the details. And then you don't see that it cracked at all. Here's the squad leader. I use a lot of the, the um, Nurgle's Rot and the Blood for the Blood God on his face. Ooh, gross. I also did a lot of the Nurgle's Rot to come out of the exhaust pipes in the back. Kind of make it look like there's all this snotty goodness coming out. And anywhere where I used Blood for the Blood God, again I used Nurgle's Rot as well. So they look pretty good, but uh, when you when you get up close, then you can really tell that uh, this is just about tabletop standard, I would say. So stay tuned for a tutorial. We'll be doing a tutorial soon, and I wanted to make these guys like a tactical squad again using blight or uh, blight grenades, plague grenades or something. So that's what these heads are representative of. So let me know what you think. Uh, I know they're not the best job that I've done, but I had a lot of fun doing them. And for Project First Founding, getting that back up and going has been a lot of fun. They're the 14th Legion, but I thought they'd be from the 9th Great Company, which is why, or the 11th Great Company, which is why I, I have that as their disguised shoulder marking. Uh, let me know what you think. And ooh, rolling down the hill there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video.